Hello everybody and welcome to In The Cut. It's your host, the young Chris Kringle. And today we are going to be doing an ornament. That looks straight from the store. We did this one earlier. It was my first time doing an ornament. It was uh, 20 minutes ago. I set up a special jig for it. And uh, let's see what the design looks like. Now you can see the design is actually uh, flipped so it's vertically and then we mirrored it vertically and that's because of the way we set up the rotary today so we could capture it on camera now this is how you wouldn't do it you would do it very uh, normally you would just turn it 90 degrees and that's how you would do it because you would have the rotary set up the correct way um, because you don't have to film it from the front but we're gonna do it right now and uh, let's see how it goes When running an object like this, um, whether it's on the rotary or not, a rounded object needs to be focused to, but you don't want to focus to the top. What you're going to do is, between your design, say your design's this big, you're going to focus between the lowest point and the highest point, right in between there, and that's where you're going to do your engraving. So like all materials, not all bulbs are created equally. This guy ran at 12 power um, and 100 speed and it turned out amazing. Now this guy is completely different. It's uh, actually a matte finish and with the same power settings you can see the difference. Now that's along all materials. Just a slight difference can change everything. So we're going to do a double pass on this guy. Now you can see that double pass is really cleaning up that first pass and that's a good way to test something if you don't want to put too much power in it all at once. Remember when using the rotary it's going to set up your y-axis so it runs extremely slow like a sloth that's going to crawl and if you take off your rotary and then you try to run your job normally you're going to notice that that 
uh, gantry goes up and down very slow and that's how you're going to know it's still in rotary mode. Looks like the bulb with the different finish is going to have to have a post process to it where the one that was actually shined, these are painted from the inside um, and it's just a different kind of coating and that's why it looks so clean. So now we all know that uh, if you guys want to play with these that they run differently and you're going to have to play with your power settings quite a bit. Now just rubbing it with my fingers, it cleaned up a lot, but it's not as clean and crisp as the other one. So if you are going to do them, I suggest using these guys. And we ran this kind of thing. We saw it on Pinterest. Somebody takes a piece of foam and actually strings it through, strings the cap through with a paper clip and then holds that guy in place. I suggest actually doing it, cutting a piece of foam that fits the cup exactly and then shoving it in with another hole that you've designed. That way you can just shove them in, you don't have to do the whole pin thing. But we tried it. I hope you guys liked that, that was a weird one. And I hope everyone has a good holiday and a happy new year. Until then, keep making.